I started to try getting back into uh, streaming lately, like streaming my drawing. I don't know, the vibe is just, uh, I don't know, it's just clicking now. I swing that down a little bit, and then I have my mic here and these two lamps. So, yeah, so I went to a little local wood shop, looked around at their selection of, like, little woods, exotic woods, normal woods, you know. There's all sorts of weird woods you don't really know exist, but they collect them and lots of people use them to make pens and cutting boards and finally found some piece of wood that was thin enough and now I'm gonna um I got it came in a plank and so the guy cut it for me honestly I don't know if it's gonna be any good for wood burning you know some wood burns better than other wood all right so it's a little wet out here so I just decided to sit in the passenger side of my truck and work on this <coughs> All right, so I think I've finished it. You can see the difference here. Well, maybe you can't see the difference. I can feel the difference. And that's, that's what matters. I went to the store and I picked up a bunch of uh, white paint pens and uh, I'm gonna try those later on. See how that works. It needs to be reshooken. This is the original shake weight. Goals are weird anyways. I think that'll be fine. Boom. Love new art supplies. I have bad news and good news. Well, the bad news is, is this a well-appointed contemporary desk? Here is a uh, wood burning that I just finished on stream. Well, it's streaming on Twitch. I'm about to put a second coat on it. Actually, I don't think it's dry yet. Come back and put another coat on it later. All right, this is dry enough to put another coat on. Totally dry. Open up. Okay, so then you just kind of goop it onto the cloth, and then goop it onto here. Furniture polish protects, preserves, prolongs. Pretends, prepares for framing, propels, prospers, peer pressures, presents. I'm going to go to McDonald's and get a coffee and a McGriddle. So there. Here. I didn't buy a gun or a knife, but I did buy this. This is a uh, gun stock for a uh, Chilean Steyr. Steyr? I'm not sure how to say that word. You know, it's still like really caked in cosmoline and stuff. Well, I regretfully admit that I've kind of fallen off writing to my pen pals. You know, I'm not proud of that, but the only person I write back to sometimes, not as often as I'd like, not as often as I'd like to, is my uncle who writes a lot of letters to me, as you can see. He puts a lot of work into them, and he writes letters to all sorts of people, my uncle does. It's a really cool thing. He, he I think he realized long ago that, uh, you know, a lot of people are never gonna write back to him, and that's a little bit sad, um, you know, because a lot of people don't write letters, but he loves writing letters, and he knows that everyone loves getting mail. Um, so he'll keep writing letters to people. Um, so it's a cool thing that he does, and some people do write him back, and so I try to write him back, Every now and then, every now and then, and I wish I did it more. I mean, look, like a week a week ago, I got this letter from him, and I thought it was just like a regular letter, right? So I opened this envelope, and here's a card in it, right? And I opened this card. Inside of it, of course, he writes all over every side of it. And inside of this card, though, was another envelope, and inside that one was a card. Of course, also written all over with another envelope in it. And that envelope was a card also written all over with another envelope inside of it. And that one was a final little postcard. And the letter started at the beginning, you know, started at the biggest card and worked its way down and ended on this little card.
so we can have this for you. Been rusting or. or So, they finally called me, the frame shop finally called me, and uh, I went back there, and I went to pick up my frame, but they had put the little wire on the back upside down, so, uh, you know, I, I had them put it back up on the other side. I guess I hadn't really specified at first which way was up or which way was down. I think I had, but I guess we'd gotten more caught up in, you know, which frame I wanted than which way was up or which way was down. So then I got the frame and I just feel like they did so much better, you know, like going to an actual frame shop than uh, going to Hobby Lobby. So uh, let's take a look at it. How do I... Exciting. Mm hmm Yeah. Pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty, pretty happy with it. <gasps> this one's heavy, dude. Where are you, paint? Here it is. I found it. All right, so I'm just gonna touch it up a little bit and then what I need to do is uh, I'm gonna, I decided that so it doesn't, like if I sell this or something, or even if I don't, I want to seal this with something. Uh, so I'm gonna find some sort of sealant. I don't know if I'm gonna spray something on it or if I want to like brush something onto it. So I need to do a little research and look around a little. I really don't know what I wanna do. Hmm, hello. I'm actually gonna put it, oh! Went to the art store. I got some sort of acrylic sealer, uh, but oh, I don't know what it was. I just grabbed something off the shelf, but I also got this kind of on a whim. I hope if I paint this on the teeth of the bear skull, it'll make it look all golden. That's not really what I imagined it would look like inside. I think it could still work. This might not be how you're supposed to do it. But I think it might it still work as long as I'm careful. Worst case scenario, if this looks awful, I can just repaint the whole thing. Here we are. It didn't turn out quite like I planned, mostly because uh, I don't think I, I think you're supposed to kind of like buff it as you apply it, like with a cloth instead of a brush. Probably shouldn't be using this stuff inside, but, you know, whatever. I'm gonna do lots of, several really thin coats. I don't want it to get drippy. Uh, vapor harmful, uh, fume. Do not smoke. Whatever, too many directions. That's good for now. There is, there is something deep within the, the psyche and the soul of every man that longs and it, and it yearns for, uh, it's just something more, something it longs for on some days, something that can't be filled by uh, anything but um, but a good milkshake. Mm. Dries to touch in 15 minutes or less. Handle after four hours. Crap.
Wait, recoding within one hour or after 48 hours? I've been doing neither of those. Nothing makes sense. Whatever. All right, so I've tried, decided to try doing a little watercolor stuff. As crazy as that sounds. I literally bought the cheapest watercolors I could find and uh, some terrible cheap brushes. And uh, I'm just gonna start messing around and experimenting with putting watercolor on paper. I have no goals, I, this is not gonna be a finished piece. Uh, I'm just gonna have fun with it, I'm gonna listen to music. I'm gonna try another one with watercolor paper, just splash more stuff up there, um, and uh, see if that's any different. All right, so the only piece of watercolor paper paper. Well, this is the biggest piece of watercolor paper I could find. This one's pretty cool. I think it'd be pretty fun to draw on this one. I have the urge to use this brush, but this brush is a little rougher, and I feel like this brush is better, and because I feel like this brush is better, 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 because I feel like this brush is better, I'm gonna use the other brush just to see what happens. Crazy. All right, I'm gonna pull this one off to dry and then I'm gonna get another one of those bigger mixed media pieces and kind of get real sloppy with it and get some of these nice drips going that I think look real cool. Drawing on this will kind of be like the opposite of coloring. Hmm. These all look, oh wait. These all look like exactly the same. Is it because they're all the same color? because I'm doing the same thing with all of them. Let's try another. Let's try another. Georgia O'Keeffe stuff. I don't really like Georgia O'Keeffe's paintings. Are those even watercolors? They, I don't know if they are actually watercolors, but they look kind of like watercolors. And I was thinking about how smooth and gradiated some of her colors are, and I kind of wished I could just draw on hers. Maybe I'll buy a Georgia O'Keeffe print and just draw on that. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna work on this a little bit more. I feel like that's what professionals do, making it gradually darker instead of just laying on the thick stuff right away. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't like this one at all anymore. It's definitely more interesting. We'll move on to another one. I think really the only way for me to feel comfortable with like watercolors, you know, is to do like a hundred of them at least. So I'm just gonna keep doing them or a thousand of them. You know, like I need, I need to do them for years. Sometimes I get frustrated when I switch mediums and I'm not as comfortable with them as I am with you know, like a pen and ink, but it's just because I haven't spent nearly as much time working with them as I have pen and ink, and so I've got to give myself a chance to catch up. 